The shipping bond of the Leparkin group of companies was destroyed in a massive fire on January 16. Since then, the company's insurance company has been carrying out an investigation to account for the loss. Customers who shipped with the company and suffered losses were told they will be compensated. The company's general manager, Boda Nepan, says the weight is due to the insurance company's investigation, which is still ongoing. Um, our current situation is that the claims that the customers, and you notice we have almost five to 6,000 claims, that's the volume of cargo that would have perished in the fire. And all of these customers' claim are currently I have a copy in my office for the purpose of that and also for the purpose of undertaking the insurance claims process. Now, the, the last information we would have received to date is that the loss adjusters are currently undertaking their investigations. They have not provided us with a date or a time as to when this process will be concluded. But we are following up with them on a daily basis assiduously to ensure that we have something to at least tell the customers. Nepan said on several occasions he has met with customers and assured them that the issue is being handled. He said as soon as the investigation is completed, the company will inform customers. A customer, Anne Kelly, told the newsroom she is frustrated with the wait. Her packages were shipped with the company from the United States. After the packages arrived in January, she was contacted and told she can uplift. But the packages were not collected on the said day because of the closing time. They later perished in the fire. Right now, I am still frustrated, and that's from the, uh, the 11th of January to today is over seven months. Nobody called me. Not, I'm very much frustrated over this um, entire situation because I mean to say my daughter spent a lot of money to send this stuff. According to documents seen by the newsroom, Kelly paid for the delivery order and clearance fees. Meanwhile, Nepan said the claims have been sent to the insurance company. He assures that customers will be compensated. The fire was deemed maliciously set and it destroyed two shipping storage bonds at the Guyana National Shipping Corporation, GNIC Wharf. Millions of dollars in vehicles and other imported items were destroyed at the Loparkin and Tropical Shipping. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Lazina Yearwood.